Andy, it's so good to be on the front lines with you. This war is just raging. The bombs overhead, the explosions. And if you are not ready for those who are going to drop to the left and right of you, don't join in the war. But these tweets are absolutely full-on warfare. And some people are definitely in harm's way. That's why we call it the great information war. And we say that the modern weapons that you can have is the information and the things that you can send out to help educate and enlighten your audience. Now, folks, I get comments from you about, well, I want to read these tweets while you're talking. Just a reminder, we always have a link in the description box under the YouTube video. You go to that link and all the tweets are there. Plus, we throw in some extra stuff that we find interesting. If you are listening to us on an embedded video on somebody else's site, or perhaps you're listening to, thank you very much, Patriot Jeremy, for putting us out on iTunes and keeping a great playlist at the American Intelligence Media. Well, you're not going to be able to go back and look at the tweets there. So if you need to read the tweets, then you'll just have to find another platform, like go straight to Trump's Twitter account. First tweet. General Motors is very counter to what other auto and other companies are doing. Big Steel is opening and renovating plants all over the country. Auto companies are pouring into the U.S., including BMW, which just announced a major new plant. The USA is booming. Now, one really has to take a close look at this. Basically, he's calling GM stupid, essentially. But that's not what's happening. And he knows that's not essentially what is happening. Here's what is happening. This is the big signal from what used to be the largest company, one of the largest companies in the world, GM, who, of course, you know, we helped bail out them and Chrysler, we the people, and we got, what, nothing back for it. Uh, Chrysler paid back their debt. Actually, GM did too. But the point is, is that we come in and we help these monopolies and they should be a bit friendly to us and not move off and close factories in three states and move out of this country. And everyone knows that's not going to work. So... Why would it happen? Why would you have someone insanely driving General Motors off the cliff? They're not. This is a signal. This is a signal that the stock market's going to crash. I hope people understand this. Matter of fact, this would basically notice at the bottom he's saying the U.S. is booming. People are moving in. They're understanding my tariff system. They're understanding this and that. So why would General Motors do something so infinitely stupid when they know that the people put out of work are going to just vote for Trump. What are they doing? This is the last ditch attempt attacks at Trump. This is in fact signaling insider trading that the Fed is probably going to continue to manipulate rates to the point seven seven raises in two years with Trump with no raises, one raise, tiny raise with Obama in eight years. No, no, no. Every raise means more money in the pocket of the people who own the Fed and that is not the U.S people. That is not we the people. So there is a war with Jeremy Powell right now. Jerome. Jerome, sorry. Jerome Powell, and who is the head of the uh, Fed, appointed by Trump. Look for him to either be dumped or the other seven people to be appointed to that committee of 12 to then outvote him. But he is the leader. But it's a complete nonsensical case to believe the propaganda that comes out of the U.S. Fed. So what is really happening here? This is signaling a nosedive that's going to happen on the stock market. It was supposed to happen when Hillary got elected. The internet, the people who owned the New York Stock Exchange, Intercontinental Exchange Incorporated, who basically absorbed all of Enron's corruption and basically commodities trading for energy uh, uh, futures, which is completely insane because you can't regulate that across state lines. You can gouge by a thousand percent. So this was the second way that internet, intercontinental exchange thought that they could control America. They were going to do it through commodities and energy. It, when they sucked up all of Enron's 200 companies that were doing that. When Enron went down, remember, that was the money behind Bush. Remember, Bush wouldn't tell us how much money Enron gave him. And before that, you know, the Keating Five. And now, It's the corruption with George Soros and the Democratic National Committee. That's what's on the server. So what is about to happen? A huge adjustment. And the problem is that we've already done 
uh, anonymous Patriots intelligence reports on this that have already shown what will happen, and that's that all the deeds and the mortgages of America, some 87% in uh, some estimates, belong to a company that belong to the New York Stock Exchange that belongs to Intercontinental Exchange. So we have a corporation that controls our stock market. So folks, the stock market could crash. Do not be surprised if the stock market falls back Thomas, tremendously. Patriots have been prepared for this for several years. And uh, we just encourage you, if you are listening and you aren't prepared for any kind of financial changes in the world, that maybe you should look at your pantry and stock up a little bit. If Intercontinental Exchange's uh, DTCC, the Depository Trust Clearing Corporation, or any of their derivative uh, clearing corporations falter, that's the end of the stock market. You are gambling, folks, and that people pushed you into that with your 401ks as if you had no choice or else you had no other way to uh, shelter your uh, taxes, deferred taxes from your payroll, which there should be no payroll taxes to begin with. But anyway, if you're on the stock market, beware because it was fakely inflated by the purchase of stocks by the central banks, the 12 central banks, 13th and the 13th, the U.S. Fed's New York branch have been manipulating the stock market since Trump came to power. And so they're going to manipulate it again. They're trying to simply get back their money that they invested in bad stocks because they can't find anybody to buy those stocks now. So at this point, a few 500-point fallbacks, that means nothing. Those are simple adjustments. They need 50% of the market to fall back, and that will probably happen soon. So do not be surprised and do not be worried about that. Get your money out of your retirement in 401ks in the stock and put it in something real and you won't even have to worry. The stock market can crash. It will mean nothing. That is nothing more than a, than a tax haven. $1.4 quadrillion in, of a tax haven each year run by one company, Intercontinental Exchange Incorporated. Okay, well, I want to say that you're not a financial advisor, so no one should be selling any kind of stock or buying anything or anything like that based upon your statement there. So that there's is our correct. Dec- disclaimer, however. But when we Trump speak said, it, we're doing it. <laughs> Trump said, the stock market's rigged, yep. get your money out of it. Yeah. He told you that from the beginning. He's been shocked by the trillions of dollars in value that have gone up in the, uh, that has gone up in the stock market. Uh, of course, his, what he's doing is causing that, but nobody believed that it would work. And it's because the globalists are at their wits' end. They know nothing else to do. They've done everything in the 2016 election to destroy Trump. They couldn't. They're still trying. That's Mueller's job, destroy Trump by 2020. It's not working. And so expect all stops to be pulled out. Next tweet, Thomas. Did you ever see an investigation more in search of a crime? At the same time, Mueller and the angry Democrats aren't even looking at the atrocities and perhaps subversive crimes that were committed by crooked Hillary Clinton and the Democrats. A total disgrace. You know, we have a Aim for Truth patriot, Mark. He's a chalkboard artist, and he sent me a chalkboard rendering of Mueller at the deli. He's having ham sandwiches, and for dessert, he's having yellow cake. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> That's because he's indicted so many Russian ham sandwiches. I'm sure the ham sandwich had Russian dressing on it. Oh, very good. <laughs> w- w- without a doubt. That is just hysterically yes. funny. Well, maybe Ben Garrison or uh, Bronco can pick that up in a cartoon. That would be a hit. That's the beauty of Truth News Headlines. It's entertaining. It's enlightening. It's informative. And it's telling you things that other people aren't telling you and gives you the proof of where it comes from. So... We have to thank you, Betsy, and your team. I don't know how in the world you do it, but I sit up late at night waiting for my Truth News headlines. Well, you know we do it just for you, so you have something to do in the evenings. (laughs) Okay, so let's get back to the tweet. Okay, so uh, every time he says total disgrace, remember, every time SS, oh, excuse me, fascist SS Herr Mueller. (laughs) SES. Fascist SES Herr Mueller. Globalist, uh, too. Globalist. And, and I love it. Everybody in the world, you're doing great pushing out this globalist versus nationalist message. I'm even, I've got something posted tonight on Truth News, a video where the EU's coming out saying now that to discuss the caravans and immigration and migrants and invaders is not going to be allowed anymore because it's going to be hate speech. <laughs> in Europe? Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, I thought it already was. I thought it was. I thought you were telling me that it was going to be here in America because that's how close we are, folks. Yes. Any minute, George Soros's plan, Eric Smith's plan, the the things that they used in Europe are going to are being used here. It's just a matter of time. Dragonfly will be here. When they said Dragonfly will be operative in China and by 2020, no, they meant it will be operative and completely in place and working and controlling Americans by 2020. That's what that really means. Now, every time that fascist, SES, Herr Mueller, globalist shoots at Trump, Trump has to shoot back. He has to. He has no choice because these are cheap shots. Now what's in the news? That the Hollywood uh, con artists, remember, every single actor and actress is a con artist. They're liars. Why would you ever believe anything they have to say? Whoever pays them is who they lie for. Is that not their life? Is that not what they live for? Is that not what they are? And you never heard of one of them ever thank God before they got an Oscar because God is no part of Hollywood. But Hollywood's gonna come out crazy because of Michael Cohen's plea deal. Ooh, it's almost as good as Michael Cohen's, Cohen's plea deal saying that he paid Stormy Daniels, which, hello, no, he didn't. Okay, he made a plea deal where he admitted to paying Stormy Daniels, and now we know he didn't pay Stormy Daniels. And the fake tapes that Michael Cohen had, that he had on all of his clients, which he should be disbarred for. I don't see him being disbarred in any of this. And that really isn't what they got him for. They got him for, uh, he has more taxi medallions than any other person in New York City. You can't do that unless you're part of the mob. Okay, You can't do that without the permission of Russian oligarchs. <laughs> you can't do that without the permission of of the mayor of New York City. So Michael Cohen was everybody's go-to guy when you wanted something done. Who knew he was taping people? So he has a tape of Tr of Trump saying, yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead, whatever you're going to do. Uh -huh, yeah, get me a, a Pepsi. Uh, no, he doesn't drink Pepsi. He's a, a Diet, Diet Pepsi. Coke. Get me a Diet Coke. Okay, that's the tape. <laughs> that's the tape that's supposed to prove that Michael Cohen paid Stormy Daniels. No, he didn't. David Brock paid Stormy Daniels, and now Stormy Daniels doesn't even get that money because it's been br uh, rolled into all the cases being brought against her lawyer, Michael Avenetti, who was going to run for president until he found out that no one supported him. And now they're going after him, as we were so happy to point out, for millions and millions, tens of millions of dollars, actually, in tax evasion. So he's going down. I'm way off point. So let's go back to this. This Trump tweet is pointing out that this is not an investigation. And it is not a rightly constructed grand jury or special investigation by a special counsel. Or spe it's no, an it's inquisition not. is what it is. It's a modern form of you know what they used to do during the Crusades. Absolutely. And that's why he keeps calling it a witch hunt. Because you know when they find the witches, they weigh them against a duck. And if the witch weighs more than the duck, then they kill her because she weighs more than the duck. But And they do that by floating the witch on the water with okay, the duck. Okay, here we go into the weeds. I'm sorry, but this is what they've been doing with him all along. Yes. And guess what? Trump doesn't sink. He's as light as the duck. <laughs> so they can't crucify him. But this is a black ops operation started by John Brennan, but with Comey's support through his treason. And it's a central, central intelligence uh, uh, agency investigation. That's what it always was. It's an operate. Excuse me, it's not an investigation. It's an operation a CIA black ops operation that was started without any intel. And that's what has turned into... A coup d'etat. A coup d'etat. And George Papadopoulos is making it all come unraveled because he was the person they had set up to get the hardcore surveillance of Trump, which was already happening literally as physical wiretapping through Robert Hannigan working with uh, uh, John Brennan and the CIA through the NSA. So what we really have here is an unduly constituted special counsel and grand jury, and it was impaneled with no crime. What he's accused of is conspiracy for collusion. There's no such crime. Plus, you can't impanel a grand jury without a crime existing. You can't impanel a grand jury to start an investigation. That's just stupid. It is an oxymoron. And what about the subversive crimes that he refers to here. Now Trump puts them behind bars, doesn't he, with that meme that he retweeted the other day. Because why? Look at the election uh, campaign fraud with Soros. Look at the election rigging, uh, particularly with Bernie. 
Look at the Russian collusion and the Chinese collusion with Hillary. You don't get any thicker than that. So every time this comes up, don't be bored. Don't think that Trump is just repeating himself. Every time Mueller brings something to light, which he should not, it's supposed to all be secret, Trump has to respond. So I know you're on a roll there. Let's look at the next tweet, which is related. When will this illegal Joseph McCarthy-style witch hunt, one that has shattered so many innocent lives, ever end, or will it just go on forever? After wasting more than $40 million, is that possible? It has proven only one thing. There was no collusion with Russia. So ridiculous. Rat Rodenstein has already come out twice and said there's no collusion with Russia, so why does it go on? Because it's supposed to go on until 2020 to stop Trump from being reelected. We know that. And the Joseph McCarthy era, that's the Comey era, the Comey era. That's the era where the FBI, the Department of State, and the Justice Department all protected Hillary in bed with who? Vladimir the Impaler Putin, who she went over and built the tech city for in Sklokovo. I mean, you can't get any more collusion than that. Oh, no. Chinese collusion, Hitler. I mean, not Hitler. I mean, Hillary. I'm sorry. Hillary, Hitler. I mean, Hitler, Hillary, and her Chinese connection makes her the biggest spy in U.S. history. And we know this is true simply because of her sitting on the Walton family board and getting paid money when she sold out America to China. And then now we know for a fact that Chinese had copies of every one of her emails, all 780,000. And it has come out that those pieces of information that were then made available, I guess, to the world were responsible for the 20 Chinese spies, U.S. spies, CIA spies that were in China that are dead now because of Hillary. When will she go to jail for her communism? She is a Russian communist. She is a Chinese communist, and she has killed CIA agents and it isn't because she's naive and she didn't know what she was doing. She, she knows exactly, exactly what, what she's, she's doing. doing. Billions of dollars are pouring into the coffers of the USA because of the tariffs being charged to China. And there is a long way to go. If companies don't want to pay tariffs, build in the USA. Otherwise, let's just make our country richer than ever before. We have to listen to him. We have to build the border wall. But if we don't, let's just put up enough barbed wire that nobody can get across and enough soldiers there to protect like we are doing in California. So what is really going on there? When you say that you need $25 billion to build a wall and you saved $5 trillion on the climate accord in one year, this year alone, folks, $500 million, excuse me, $500 billion dollars was sl was slated as the payments that we are supposed to make to the climate accord those are supposed to start this year the fact that we didn't make those should give trump all the money that he needs to build the wall but if you don't want to build the wall that's okay because that just means you're a criminal it means that you are aiding an invasion by paid mercenaries into the united states of america bringing drugs human trafficking and more death and destruction than we have actually seen in U.S. history, if you add up all the deaths along the southern border in Mexico, all their politicians who've been murdered, all the drug lords who've killed each other, all the cartels and the cartel control of Mexico, and you add those deaths up, it's going to be a significant war that is not even being acknowledged. But that's what the Democrats want to do when they say they don't want to give money for a wall. They want that to continue. They want drugs. They want Hezbollah. They want the Chinese bringing in... Uh, fentanyl and other opiates that you take one pill and you die. They want the CIA, especially the rogue CIA, uh, opium and heroin to come across the borders. They want Hezbollah to come across the borders because that we know is being funded and, and they're members of the caravan. We got ISIS in there. We got Al-Qaeda. I'm sorry, if you support the caravan, you support mercenaries coming in to kill America. That's what you're supporting. And anyone who calls it anything else is simply mincing words. Next two tweets are related. By the way, $26 billion a year is spent on illegal immigrant medical costs for just prenatal and natal costs, folks. If we put up a border in one year, you'd have the $26 billion back. Okay? So this is craziness, but it's okay. Because now the Congress is going to look like the criminals that they are. And that's a good thing. 
Based on the fact that the ships and sailors have not been returned to Ukraine from Russia, I have decided it would be best for all parties concerned to cancel my previously scheduled meeting in Argentina with President Vladimir Putin. I look forward to a meaningful summit again as soon as this situation is resolved. Too bad for Russia, because Trump was going to hint how Russia can get themselves out of the big problems they're in, and he was going to help them solve the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 problem. But now, mm, sorry, you know, Vlad the Impaler, Putin, is not going to get any deal. And what he did with the ships, the Ukrainian ships, the provocation by the Ukrainians, that was completely legal. And remember, it was a vote that brought Crimea back into Russia. It was a vote that brought Donst and the uh, other province back into Russia the, and Georgia. These were votes. These were votes. These were not takeovers. These were not invasions. So people need to keep, uh, they need to stop seeing that Vladimir Putin is Vlad the Impaler. No, he is not. How did Georgia get taken from him? How did Crimea get taken from him? How did Ukraine get taken from him? That was us. That was the CIA, the rogue CIA. That was basically the Vulcans. That was uh, Dick Cheney. That was George Bush. That was General Secord. That was uh, Brzezinski, you know, you know, the, the Vulcans. We have been attacking Russia nonstop since it was the USSR. And we still are attacking Russia to this day from Azerbaijan. That's where the rogue CIA attacks Russia every single day. And what does Russia do? Well, Russia attacks back. Why? That's what they need to do. What we were going to have happen, which is just uh, so sad, was Trump was going to look over at Putin and say, you know, we could do a deal on Nord Stream 1 and 2. I could lift those sanctions if you and Russia would stop doing war games together. I mean, if Russia and China stopped doing war games together. And Vlad would have said, okay, done deal. Literally, that's how long it would have taken. Why? Because all of Ukraine is about the fact that it had to be circumvented with Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2. The sanctions put on Obama were so that Ukraine could have the oil and so, but they blew it because then Russia stopped sending the oil through Ukraine. Ukraine was getting 45% of their gross national product from what they were getting from the pipelines coming across from Kazakhstan through Russia into Ukraine, into Europe. So what we're dealing with here is not NATO. We're dealing with oil pipelines. And those deals can be done by Trump in a minute. And that's not going to happen now. And that's going to be very sad for uh, Putin. But he has to do this because politically, to be correct... He cannot show any weakness to Vladimir the Impaler because, as we know, if you turn your black back on Vlad, he's going to impale you because uh, George Soros said so. They can't show any aggression, but they sure can show aggression in Afghanistan to stop the pipeline. We went to Afghanistan to stop the pipeline. I heard somebody say, what about the aggression of the Russians in, in Afghanistan? So you want to look at the aggression, aggression of the Russians? Look at the aggression of the Americans on the Russians that caused their aggression on us. And then you'll see the real story. Uh, the next tweet, we move over to Big Pharma and competition in drugs. Uh, Trump has an article there that he's retweeted and says, we have been working hard on this and it's only going to get better. The drug lords, have you noticed, uh, some of them are dying instead of the people who come up with things that heal you that don't take pharmaceutical drugs dying and all those natural doctors dying. It's slowed down now. The pharmaceutical people are dying. Have you noticed this? Have you noticed that the pharmaceutical prices went down the largest amount that I've ever seen in pharmaceutical and in, in big pharma history? And then they pop back up again. And now, oh, look, oh, Trump is going into war against them again. We are are seeing a war against the pharmaceutical companies. And as soon as that war is taken down and those mega billionaires come back to being reasonable people and we stop using pharmaceutical drugs as the only answer that our allopathic doctors give, then we can tackle vaccines next because vaccines are nothing more than the propaganda that drugs work. And that's the reason that we believe that the doctors can heal us with drugs because they've been shooting us up with drugs all of our life to save us from illnesses that would have taken our lives, which is a complete lie. And that could be a complete show in and of itself, but we'll move on. 
We're going to move into the nepotism and the corruption of the Romney clan, where Trump has tweeted out what a magnificent job Rona Romney McDaniel is doing, and he wants her to stay on. Well, you know what? I have my problems with Miss Rona Romney McDaniel, and that is that her uncle Mitt is corrupt, and that he is involved in election rigging, and that Rona, as the chairman of the RNC, has done diddly squat to reveal this corruption in the election rigging system that may have overturned many seats from Republican to Democrat as Miss Rona sits there on her butt and says nothing. Oh, absolutely. She is just as corrupt as her uncle. Oh, absolutely. And uh, when you have Paul Ryan coming out saying that what happened in Orange County can't happen, and she does nothing? Oh, that's because her uncle owns Heart Inter Civic voting machines, which were here in Michigan, and we saw that those elections were rigged because why? The Heart Inter Civic. There is no way that that old hag Debbie Stabenow beat that young John James. This the election was so rigged. It had to have been. Had to have been. And where's Rona? Has she said anything? Has she put up any protest? No. She sits there covering up for Uncle Mitt. Oh, absolutely. And we know that the Michigan votes after the recount with Jill Stein and Hillary Clinton, which it got to Michigan, it was so bad, the recount in Detroit. It was so crooked, like 300% crooked on the side of Hillary, that then they gave up the recount, didn't they? Well, that's what goes on. And those are the machines used. Heart Enter Civic. Those are owned by Mitt Romney, Unfit Mitt, and run by his son. What's his name? Tag. Uh, good old Tag. So it's tag. a whole Romney corrupt thing. And I tell you, I this year I did not give. I haven't given any money to the Republican Party since a Romney is in charge of it. Um, because if, if the corruption is there early on, then the corruption is still there now. And there are better ways that you can put your money into um, active play to bring patriots into the political system. Two things. Unfit Mitt. Too bad. He came out of hiding where he was making tens of millions. So much money he was making that he wouldn't reveal to people how much money he had when he ran for president. Or who gave him money to run for president. Or where his money comes from. We've already told you. Bain Capital. Velmet Bank. Globalist. The Bush family ripoff of Russia. We were just talking about it. The Vulcans used him Mitt, unfit Mitt Romney. He is as corrupt as anybody could possibly be. And now, 53 to 47 senators, Mitt, you, we didn't need you to come be the voice of resistance. He literally said yesterday, I believe it was, that he is the McCain voice. In other words, the McCain vote. We told you there He's would a be globalist. a vote. He should just say, I'm a freaking globalist. I've got my niece, who's also a globalist, running the RNC to cover up the election rigging. This has got to go. And what did we say? John McCain will vote from the grave. Yeah, through Mitt Romney now. And now through Mitt Romney. And we predicted that. We predicted Mitt would win because he went and paid, probably out the back of his car, cash to every single county in Utah. And then... The election machines were rigged. Okay, so if you rig one, if you rig 17 states' election machines, you can bet that one of your uh, other election machine companies that also uses Optech as the software to manipulate it. In other words, Mitt could manipulate any machine he wanted. So it doesn't really matter whether Mitt's machines were used in Utah or not for him. He has the ability to manipulate Optech in any election and machine. And he's got his niece positioned in a place in the RNC that the RNC isn't going to raise issue with all this election rigging. Isn't this a nice, tidy thing the Romneys have done to screw America once again? It's kind of like the Florida lady snipes. You know, when you go snipe hunting, they put a blindfold over you, and you're just supposed to reach out and just find that. That's what they did in convicting her of her crimes. They put a blindfold on... They saw her commit the crimes. I mean, I like the second, the, 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 the recount. She started two hours late, and by the time she was turning it in, it was two minutes too late for her to turn it in, so it didn't count, so she didn't get caught red-handed with her cheating. Okay, let's move on, but uh, um, Donald Trump, you know, if you're going to tweet out stuff about the Romneys, you can expect us to jump right in and expose them. The next tweet is a quote from Greg Jarrett. This demonstrates that Robert Mueller and his partisans have no evidence, not a whiff of collusion between Trump and the Russians. Russian Project Legal. Trump Tower meeting. Sun Don. Perfectly legal. He wasn't involved with hacking. Close quote. And then Trump adds a total witch hunt. 
By hacking, he means hacking the DNC and stealing Hillary's emails when everyone, the Pakistani intelligence agencies, the Mossad, uh, Unit 8200, Tal Piat, everyone had Hillary's emails. And so that's what he's talking about when he says that he was not involved with hacking. He's talking about Don Jr.'s son because they're trying to say that Don met with Natalia Veselnitskaya, which was being wiretapped. And by the way, those of you who... Just don't get your facts straight. Just drive me crazy. Trump was physically wiretapped. As I've said again, someone please bring forth something he said that's been in friggin' correct. Because it isn't incorrect. He was physically wiretapped by Robert Hannigan from the General Communications Headquarters, the NSA, basically, of Britain. Robert Hannigan came over and personally oversaw the physical wiretapping of that meeting at Trump Towers. Then General Rogers went, met with Trump, told him he was being physically wiretapped, and he got out. We told you from the beginning that Paul Manafort was being surveilled and had been for years. For years they've been trying to get Paul Manafort. So anyone who didn't know or who didn't inform Trump that when Paul Manafort was hired, he was under five federal investigations at that moment, and they were surveilling him at that moment. They probably, the other side, paid to have him delivered to help Trump because they were after him anyway because $4.7 billion, the State Department with Hillary Clinton and John Kerry and uh, Victoria Nuland spent $4.7 billion with George Soros, non-government organizations in Ukraine and two color revolutions to make sure that the existing party that is there now, the party of regions, the same party that was the Nazi supporters during World War II, the same party who was given the highest awards to John Kerry and to uh, Joe Biden, and then their sons got billion dollar oil deals. This is the same exact people that we're talking about that then say that what Trump did was collusion. Well, here's what really happened, and people don't get this. As far as I know, we're the only ones talking about this. Uh, Someday, I hope they take it up because it's one of the easiest things to prove. When they say the Russian project legal, there's now the big deal out there is that, that Trump, during the campaign, had something to do with trying to start Trump Towers in Russia. We've told you the truth. Here's the truth. Felix Sater, the person who helped Trump get together Russian billionaire oligarch donations for Trump Tower Soho in New York, was this, tried to get Trump during the election because Comey had come to Felix Sater because Felix Sater is an FBI informant. He's an asset. He was in a bar brawl where he cut his hand uh, and hurt, hurt a person and got put in jail. And then Comey has been using him as an asset ever since. So he went to Don Jr. and Ivanka and said, I will take you to Crimea and I will pay for it and we will start a Trump Towers there. So he paid for the trip. That's why Trump says in his tweet, he paid nothing for these supposed Russian deals. No, here's what happened. Felix Sater, who was a jerk, one time came into Trump Towers and somehow got in a meeting with Trump. And he came into Trump and said, look, you need to be doing business with me because I know all the top Russian oligarchs and whatever. And he said, bring me some customers and until then get out of my office. Ever since then, Felix Sater has been trying to bring customers. He's also the guy who set up Michael Cohen with the fake letter saying that there was going to be sanctions. The sanctions would be raised in Russia and that that letter was going to Putin through Michael Cohen. Complete lie. But that shows you how Michael Cohen is as corrupt as can be working with Felix Sater. So Felix took them to Crimea, Crimea, Georgia, and to Moscow. Ivanka and Don Jr. spent no money. This was Felix Sater trying to do a business deal with them, and they before they were any part of the uh, you know any any positions in the government, which is, makes it perfectly legal. That during the campaign, had he not won the election, what would have happened? He could have been doing those deals and then he could have got a Trump Towers and it would have been perfectly legal. But that's not the issue. They're trying to say this is emolument clause, that Trump would receive some kind of remuneration from this. No, he gave, as soon as he became the president, he gave over his t- entire company to his relatives to run it. And then 
what he was doing wasn't illegal. And to meet with Natalia Veselnitskaya was not illegal because they said they had some dirt on Hillary. Well, who doesn't have dirt on Hillary? So there were no Trump Towers. There was no money spent on Trump Towers. And Felix Sater is Comey's man. And so if you don't understand that, then you might believe now and get a little bit worried that Trump, oh, did some dirty deal or Trump knew about the dirty deal, some dirty deal that went down with getting the Hillary 33,000 emails. But it didn't happen, folks. The next tweet is related. Alan uh, Dershowitz uh, has a quote here uh, that Trump tweeted out. These are not crimes. He, Mueller, has no authority to be a roving commissioner. I don't see any evidence of crimes. Close quote. Trump continues his tweet. This is an illegal hoax that should be ended immediately. Mueller refuses to look at the real crimes on the other side. Where is the IG report? Is that from Michael Horowitz or John Huber? Well, he's talking about the six parts left of the seven parts of Michael Horowitz's IG report. Remember. Now remember, Michael Horowitz is SES. He's also a globalist, and he's also there to protect the swamp from being indicted for anything. He's fake IG. He's a stooge. He's a witch hunter. And of the six parts that he was given charge of, instead of the... Entire Department of Justice did nothing. Jeff Sessions just said, oh, we're going to let Michael Horowitz handle the leaks. We're going to let Michael Horowitz handle the politicalization between the DOJ and the FBI. We're going to let Michael, hand- uh, Michael Horowitz handle the Trump, uh, the stroke page text messages. Oh, we're going to let Michael Horowitz handle the McCabe five criminal counts. So out of all of that, we get one tiny reference, which is Andrew McCabe was not completely did not show complete candor. In other words, perjury. He's in his grand jury now. He'll get off because Michael Horowitz made sure that he gets off. And those who say William Priestep is working with Michael Horowitz, I see no evidence of that. He's also senior executive service. Exactly. No, I see no evidence of that. I mean, when are we going to out these SES thugs that are trying to take over and overthrow America? Well, that's what Trump just did with that tweet. He's saying it's time to call them what they are, crimes. It's time for bars. It's time for orange jumpsuits and Gitmo time. It's time for these people to meet simple facts that their crimes are known by everyone and they cannot get away with it. Now, what we need to also understand is that Trump has played them. He's played them so beautifully. He answered the questions of Mueller's investigation. Guess what? He chose those questions so that they would be so broad they would cover the entire investigation so that then he can use executive privilege to say, no, anything I answered questions on cannot be released to the public so when you release your stupid little report... We'll first do a summary of it, showing that there is no collusion, no corruption, as has been already said on these prior dates by Rat Rodenstein, and then they'll get rid of Rat. So when will that report be due? Uh, well, Mueller is, these are his, his well, dying, should. these are his, oh my goodness, his last breaths he's taking. He is dying in front of everyone. Well, let's just talk about his incompetence. He's had two years on this, right? Forty and, million dollars. Yeah, and he's done nothing. I think the American people ought to rise up and tell him to move along. The next tweet reads, Oh, I get it. I'm a very good developer, happily living my life, when I see our country going in the wrong direction, to put it mildly. Against all odds, I decide to run for president and continue to run my business. Very legal, very cool. Talked about it on the campaign trail. Lightly looked at doing a building somewhere in Russia, put up zero money, zero guarantees, and didn't do the project. Witch hunt. Now, you went over that a while back, but is there anything more to add to this? Oh, just more spit and venom. Uh, You know, uh, an old uh, curmudgeon like myself always has something to complain about. So it was a Comey setup. Let's not forget that. And it wasn't Trump himself. It was Ivanka. And it was a Jared at one of them, one point, and Don Jr. at another point. And they were, you know, Crimea, Georgia, uh, and Moscow. You know, he, Felix Sater, when he took him to Moscow, said, I know Putin. <laughs> when they got there, he didn't know nobody. He didn't know the bellhop. He didn't know nobody. And so they could understand it in Crimea and Georgia. They thought it was odd that he's this, you know, don't don't get me started on who Felix Sater is. He is a Russian son of a horrible Russian oligarch. He is as criminal as it gets. And that's the reason 
that he's Comey's guy. That's the reason that Comey used him a dozen times during all of this. Felix Sater has been the number one so guy. So the used. FBI director used one of their operatives to set up the Trump family. Correct. That's it, period. Yes. Now, has that, is that a crime? No. That the FBI director is setting up the the uh, the presidential candidate in this way? No, the FBI, uh, the, uh, the CIA. Well, first off, CIA and all black ops, all counterintelligence is based upon lies, so they can uh, set you up. They can do a sting operation. They can basically commit crimes to get you to commit a crime. Now, I say that should be illegal. I say that giving anyone immunity should be illegal. I say a crime's a crime. And if the FBI commits the crime, and that's what happens in so many of these cases with these people who are serial killers, they're FBI assets. And then they are basically brainwashed, and then they are activated when necessary. So the FBI is doing that under the auspices that, oh, they're going to uh, create these sleeper cells and then use them for their own devices for those in the black ops operations, the counterintelligence. So it is not illegal, believe it or not. Matter of fact, so many of these things they did are not illegal. And I've been harping on this from the beginning. Sorry, folks, but what they did with the FISA court wasn't illegal. Now, what is illegal is when they uh, when Comey signed him, there was no hearing. But the application alone, because he signed it, he had to swear, Rod Rosenstein had to swear, uh, Dana Piante had to swear, uh, John Carlin had to swear, uh, uh, a number of them had to swear that they knew that Carter Page was absolutely a Russian spy. Well, Carter Page was another Comey asset. He was working against the Russians. He wasn't a Russian spy. He was placed in the campaign, Trump's campaign, as a FBI spy that they were going to then use as a dupe, which they did, and he's an idiot not to sue them, like George Papadopoulos is suing them. And they used him as a dupe, and they made him into the Russian spy when he isn't. He was the guy who was Comey's asset working against the Russians. And the last tweet today is a video. You can go into the link and look at that video. And that is Trump is standing there with the uh, uh, the president of Mexico and the president of or the prime minister of Canada. And they are they have signed and they're celebrating the USMCA. It is such a joke that they're all there smiling when Mexico uh, the man shaking his hand is uh, hates America and is basically is the father, uh, one of the fathers of this caravan coming in to attack us, and the, coming on southern border to attack us, shaking his hand. Uh, Trudeau, who we now know is anything but a friend of America. As a matter of fact, he's a complete stooge. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He's completely a facade. He's, uh, he's a, a globalist. He's a globalist soy boy. He's managed by the globalist. Remember, and he, he doesn't looked know like what a, such a beta boy next to our Alpha Potus. He didn't even know what a tariff was. Literally, he's at the G7, and and he doesn't know what a tariff is. And this is the person who wanted to go into a war with Trump over tariffs. So what we have here, Betsy, is an incredible battle that's raging around us. And I'm not kidding. People are dropping left and right. Do not be surprised how many people drop. But be assured of one thing, that this is a 